restaurant channel members, viewers and subscribers, very good day to you all. So once again, I am really happy to meet you all. This time with a very genuine review about a Scopus Index Journal. It is called as Frontiers in Health Informatics. So they say that this journal comes under Scopus Quartile 4. We'll try to find out whether this journal is really indexed in the Scopus, Web of Science, ABDC Quality List, as well as UGC care group 1 or maybe group 2 journalist. We recently got information through a private uh, telegram channel group that uh, this journal gives acceptance within 7 days and gives publication within 7 days. It's so shocking to see a Scopus index journal accepting fast track and publishing fast track like that. We'll also try to understand the real time they take uh, from submission till the publication till the indexing of the article in the Scopus database. We'll also try to find out whether all the articles published in this website get really indexed in the Scopus database. So without wasting much of our time, let us go straight into the genuine review of Frontiers in Health Informatics. The review about this particular journal all starts out with this uh, particular message from the private uh, Telegram channel group. So it shows the name of the journal ISSN online number has been displayed. So they show that this journal is indexed in Scopus Q4. Okay. So they are given uh, this details, okay, acceptance within three days and publication within seven days. We are in a real confusion, okay, so they have given the journal link, Scopus link, Sci Omega journal rank. Again, they have given acceptance seven days, publication seven days, okay, so we really don't know what is really happening, okay. Also, they have given the title for the particular paper. They have given author positions, like author position one, author position two, author position four. We believe that they are actually interlinked with this particular journal. So that is the reason they are giving a, a clear cut information. Okay, So they have also given these prices are only for Indian authors with Indian affiliation and not for foreign authors. So with little confusion, we have decided to search for frontiers in health informatics. We have got the exact search result. Okay, Healthinformaticsjournal.com. So this is the first website. Again, we have another one website ijmi.ir we also have sci imago journal rank discussing about this journal also we have other indexing databases discussing about this journal as well let me tell you that the original website is actually uh, ijmi.ir okay so they have clearly mentioned that uh, from this particular uh, official website they have changed it to healthinformaticsjournal.com which was the exact uh, link uh, given in the private channel group <laughs> So that is the reason we decided to go with the first search result also the same website link what we saw in the private channel group okay so this is healthinformaticsjournal.com ISSN number has been displayed okay so here they have mentioned that this is the uh, current website as of now so here the call for papers have been mentioned so last date for submission is September 30 2024 the date has been already passed uh, when we browse through the current issue volume 13 issue number 2 2024 we find too many number of articles okay so also we are browsing through each of the articles they have not properly maintained internationalism in the publication of the articles we find too much of the indian other articles over here when we browse through the editorial team section okay so here they have mentioned uh, chairman information editor-in-chief information uh, to be the same okay uh, but the information looks incomplete okay for example here uh, like islamic republic of okay then it shows iran maybe uh, they would have translated uh, the uh, iranian version okay so here the editorial board members are also displayed but again we do not have contact details for example their email id could have been mentioned uh, their uh, uh, orchid id or maybe biography could have been mentioned they are not mentioned over here but still they have maintained some internationalism in the editorial board members. When you browse through the about the journal section, they have clearly mentioned that the first uh, decision duration is uh, maybe like uh, two months of time. Okay. Final decision duration is at least like three months of time. Okay. So between two to three months, they are giving a final decision and we believe that they are publishing the article within four months of time. So, uh, seeing in this fashion, this information exactly contradicts with what we saw in the private telegram channel group. They have given acceptance within 7 days, publication within 7 days, 
we still don't know what is happening as far as the article processing charges are concerned okay so here they have mentioned 500 dollars or approximately 40,000 in indian rupees but when we uh, try to total uh, the author position uh, the total cost okay it roughly accounts to 33,500 we believe that the article processing charges through the back door is definitely lesser than 40,000 they are publishing fast track maybe they are collecting 15,000 till 20,000 in India. So that is the reason they are collecting 33,500 from the authors so they have mentioned that they follow a double blind peer review process but we really doubt at when you browse through the archive section volume 13 issue number 2 2024 we already went through these uh, issue of articles okay also we see volume 13 2024 when you try to total the number of articles being published right now in 2024 it is enormous also we find too much of indian author articles and we do not find much of international author articles being published when you browse through the focus and scope they have mentioned health information management health information technology educational computer based programs so all associated with health you can find over here so this is the submission section okay so here first of all you should have to register for your account then you should uh, sign in and uh, you can uh, go ahead with the paper submission so they show that they follow a double blind peer review process uh, they have mentioned that you have to include uh, orchid id uh, in your uh, author affiliation details and when we browse through the contact section okay so here they have displayed just uh, the email id but they have not displayed a phone number or maybe a live google map location or maybe affiliation address nothing has been displayed over here because these are the primary uh, requirements of getting a ISSN number even with the editorial board section we have got some discrepancies even with the contact section we have got some discrepancies anyway we will check this information in the Sai Imago journal rank okay so here Sai Imago JR.com we have searched for this journal we have got the exact search result country is Iran publisher the same publisher information H index is just 7 the same ISSN number has been displayed so coverage years shows 2019 till 2023 anyway we will cross check this information with the scopus database when you try to click on home page as well as how to publish in this journal it exactly points to the website what we reviewed here okay so which means that according to sai Imago journal rank whatever website we reviewed is the exact genuine website so the same uh, email uh, id we can find over here we can find the same scope and we can see under health informatics it comes under q4 okay so here we can find the two year three year and five year statistics of this particular journal so down when we scroll down surprisingly there is no comments for this particular journal so which means that people uh, do not know uh, much about this journal when you go through peerref.com okay so they have given the information about this particular journal when you try to click on journal website it, it is redirecting to the website what we reviewed earlier okay but when you try to click on submission website it shows no link available anyway we have found out that the website whatever we reviewed earlier is the genuine website so with sai Imago journal rank we have got the information anyway we will cross check this information with the scopus database so in sources being selected okay in title being selected we search for this journal name we have got the search result coverage years uh, shows 2019 till 2024 and same publisher information same issn number we can find over here we do not have a view home page anyway with the scope of content coverage we can see 2024 we find 36 documents being indexed and over the years we can see roughly around like 40 odd documents being indexed every year and right now in 2024 we find 36 odd documents being indexed okay we are right now in october 2024 we have got just two months okay so we can understand that whatever articles being published in the website okay what we reviewed earlier you should understand not all the articles are being indexed in the scopus database so which means that those articles which are aligned to the category of the journal definitely they are getting indexed in the scopus database I really don't know why Scopus is not taking any action against this particular journal. So from one website, they have moved to another one website, but still they have not maintained an internationalism or maybe quality in the publication of the articles. And in the site score rank and trend, we can find that this journal comes under 17%. So since this journal comes under 0 to 25, 
it automatically comes under uh, Scopus Q4 quartile. So whatever information given in Sci Imago journal rank has been found to be correct. About how long will this journal remain in the Scopus database? I leave it to you, my dear channel members, viewers, followers, and subscribers. If you are okay with it, go ahead with publishing in this particular journal. If you are not okay with it, please uh, report to the Scopus database about this particular journal because we find too many articles published in 2024 but not all articles are being indexed in the Scopus database. Let me tell you that this is the only website available as of now in 2024. When you research about a master journalist mjl.clarivate.com we decided to search for this journal. We have not got the search result which means that this journal is not indexed in the web of science database when you try to research about uh, abdc australian business teams council journal quality list we decided to search for this journal and press enter we have not got any search result which means that this journal is not indexed in the abdc quality list when you try to research about ugc care website ugc we have group one and group two so since this journal comes under Scopus source list, it automatically comes under UGC Care Group 2. However, there is a link called List of Clone Journals UGC Care Group 2. When you try to uh, search for this journal name in the link, we have not got any search result, which means that there is no cloned or maybe fake website with regards to this particular journal. Now, the question in everybody's mind is that how long will this journal remain in the Scopus database? It entirely depends on you, my dear channel members. Again, I'm repeating you. So if it is your decision to go ahead with this journal, or maybe you can report it to the Scopus database, not all articles being published get indexed in the Scopus data. We believe that some private telegram channel groups have direct communication or maybe direct link to these particular journals. That is the reason they are trying to advertise or maybe give a propaganda about the author post, filling the author post, giving assurance that the articles will be definitely published. But you should understand that not all articles are being indexed in the As of now in 2024, this journal is indexed in the Scopus database. So therefore it is indexed in the UGC care group. However, this journal is not indexed in the Web of Science database and not indexed in the ABDC quality. In the website, they have quoted the article processing charges to be $500 or maybe 40,000 and the time they take for the final decision is a maximum of three months. So we believe that the publication happens between four till four and a half months. But through the back door, they are giving acceptance within seven days and publication within seven working days for the same journal. So if you have any clarifications, questions, queries, past or maybe negative experience, please share them in the comment section. There are several people who run behind a fast track publishing journals just because they have to complete their doctorate or maybe just because they have to uh, defend their master's thesis or just because their supervisor insisted so. So see you then in another interesting genuine review of a Scopus Web of Science, SCIE, ABDC, UGC Care Group 1 or maybe Group 2 journalist. Till then, collaboration.